Good morning, it's Friday. I don't know if you have noticed all these signs in the street regarding new TV shows and TV series. It's right this week, the week when everything is starting. I'm seeing now The X Factor and then I saw another uh, series called Two Broad Girls which was released on Wednesday and uh, it had an audience of about 20 million you know, people and then there is the new you know, Charlie Sheen, I'm seeing the new Dexter. It's, it's full of this kind of uh, banners in the street, which is something that <laughs> it's not very typical in Europe. I guess, it, I guess it's just part of LA that, you know, there is all this commercial about TV series, then of course movies and records. It's also a nice period for, you know, new records. Actually, the one that I'm listening to right now is uh, the new one by Bush. They <laughs> spent well, 10 years maybe, I don't remember when they split up, but now they're back again and they have released this new album called The Sea of Memories. About Bush, I like them uh, a lot. The only problem that I had with them was that their lyrics didn't really make sense to me. Uh, one of their most known songs is called Glycerin and the chorus goes like, um, don't let the days go by glycerin. So probably there is an explanation for that, but you know, most of the lyrics to me sound just like a combination of uh, random words, which you know, it's fine, <laughs> it's just funny. And um, yesterday I had this nice conversation with a guy called Spencer. We talked about programming and about music, and I came up with a nice uh, metaphor that is when you you know, when you meet with people you want to play together and you want to create a song or an album, typically uh, you don't, you know, meet in a bar and start talking about what if we did an A major followed by a D minor and then what if we change the tempo to this and that, what if the song lasted, you know, four minutes. No, you don't do that, you know, you just go to rehearsal studio and you just, you know, start jamming and then while you're listening to that, things just, you know, they, 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 they are born from there, you know? But on the other hand, when I do, you know, websites, web designs, or in general, all this kind of activity, of creative activity, people like to spend a lot of time in what is called prototyping, or even a, a worse word, which is called comp, which means you talk about things, right? And you spend months talking about how this could look like, and of course, when the moment comes that you, you know, you, for the first time you build something, it all looks wrong because you, you didn't get that feeling right. And you can only do that if you have something, you know, built, if you can play with something as with in music. So <laughs> I think that's one of the things that I learned, you know, from music applied to programming and creation in general. I'm going to leave you with some more music by Bush and the song is called The Afterlife. Yeah.